idea to ask about my gender, and it was my idea to lie to myself for a long time, except it was not my idea at all. It is the world's idea that we should lie to ourselves, that we should not find names for experiences that do not fit in boxes. It is an idea that gets inside your own story until you think you made it up. To try to write this still stops my breath. Head threatens to detach like an agitated balloon lifting off a secret body. There is a terror to being broken and a terror to never being known. She gave me my name in November when the days were filling with rain. It lived on one side of the bay, this name, for a long season of heavy soil and small rooms. In the spring, it began to bud out and scratch the inside of my throat, a lung seed becoming tree, a language determined to grow. In June, I asked the world to use the name by emailing a fact to 93 people because this is the 21st century. It referenced Flapjacks, famous hitchhikers, Wikipedia's take on third gender, and a dog named Jack from young adult science fiction who is as immune to psychotic outbreak syndrome as I one day hope to be. One day of euphoria and 30 days of shame. Words burning visible across my chest, hunting through every gender book on Amazon for the things that made me spend my morning crying. Gender queer is on the spectrum of trans, visualizing the ship of my body casting off from the harbor of woman into something uncertain and so much more vast. Spending the nights reading the things that made me come hard, imagining a power between my legs I had never let myself own. Too much to speak, almost enough to sing, words became brittle. Words took on a shine, words hung suspended between notes like raindrops on cobwebs, like small bits of fabric caught in a barbed wire fence. Everything is now open for investigation. Shoes, hats, hours, pronouns, years. Sweating belly, hiding breasts, too few names for nowhere and nowhere left to rest. A city with a lake for a heart, a summer with fog for breath. We place our bodies behind microphones. We place our bodies on the street. Our bodies become words cast off from land, navigating silver, legible at the edge of day, glitter and the dark unknowing. We are the sounds of sex and bird calls, the shape of scars and clothing piled in corners, abandoned, redrawn. We are eyes opened in the morning to angel bones stacked up against a window silhouette of change outlined somewhere between war and the future. Right.